Yep. What, oh, so they went to like some kind of red alert status? Yeah. Over two guys with cameras? Isn't that silly? No. You don't think that's silly? No, we've had this happen before. I have to disagree with you. I'm not trying to make anybody nervous at all. Yeah, you are. If I was trying to make you nervous, I would have been very avoiding Guess your what? questions. I, I am nervous now. What's going on? Don't tell me you ran here. What's that? Don't tell me you ran here. No, do you have a, can you just lift up? Do you have a Absolutely. fire? Absolutely. The security guy, he asked us to have you guys removed from the building due to, due can we speak with to him? threatening behavior. I don't think he doesn't sound like he wants to talk to you guys well, right now. Well, you guys okay. are he might. All right. So, we are, we are on their behalf asking you guys to please exit the building. Okay. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchmen here, out with Amagansett Press, here in Fargo, North Dakota, at the Fargo City Hall. Today, as usual, we're gonna take some video on public property and see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to do so. Um, we actually have been here uh, to the Fargo City Hall before, uh, just under a year ago, in, I believe, June of 2020. And now it's uh, May 2021. And, uh, you know, everything was closed down it was kind of in the middle of the whole covid situation uh so we're going to see what happened here today because uh i believe that they've opened up a little bit uh the state has at least we'll see about fargo uh as a city but uh we'll see how it goes and uh, i don't know if you guys are familiar with fargo um but that bridge over there goes right over the river and uh, Minnesota is right on the other side, so right on the Minnesota border. Uh, for those of you who uh, follow us, and for those of you who don't, uh, sometimes on these audits I do exercise my 2A, and I am doing that today. Just so you're aware. So they are at a green operations level. Members of the public are required to wear face masks at all times within the building. Visitors should wash or disinfect their hands often with soap and water or sanitizer and limit unnecessary contact by refraining from touching others and physically distancing. Uh, yep, still going on up here in North Dakota. And uh, you can see this sign here, which pertains to the inside of the building. Um, so as we always do anyway, we're going to take a little walk around hey guys i don't know if you're aware but uh north dakota state law you're actually not allowed to carry a firearm in any uh public building which i think is kind of ridiculous let me know what you guys think warmed up a little bit it's nice yeah not too bad it's the staff and delivery's entrance Same signage on this side. Another uh, loading dock here. For those of you uh, not familiar with the area here, um, the river is right on the other side of this wall that separates North Dakota and Minnesota. So that white tent looking roof over there building is in Minnesota. That's how close we are. Completely different set of laws and rules over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who you are? Sure, can I ask who you are? You came out and approached me, asked me what I'm doing, so I'm just asking who you are so I know who I'm speaking to. I work for the city, City of Fargo. Brock, okay. Brock Morrison, facilities director. Brock Morris? Brock Morrison. Brock Morrison? Yeah. Oh, it's a good uh, cowboy name. Yeah. yeah. Well, we just had a call asking, uh, they said, hey, there's, there's a couple guys out here filming and they're filming in the windows. And so I got a call to come and check on it. Just checking out your city hall. Any issues with that? No, I was just asking. Like I said, I had a phone call, so. Okay. I thought I'd Very cool. Yeah, no worries. See what you guys are up to, so. Yeah, just taking some video. Cool. Good. That's it. We'll come inside and see you in a little bit. Sounds good. All righty. The camera in a window or something like that, somebody saw, so. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just out looking, and I happen to get a phone call. So. And you got you guys are still doing the uh, mass required inside the building, or are the signs uh, just still up? What's that? I don't know if the signs are just still up and weren't taken down yet, or you no, guys are still it's, enforcing it's still, up. still doing the mass thing, huh? Uh, yeah, I think it was, ex I don't want to say extended, but um, I think it says on the green there. Oh, it's got a date on it? I don't know if it has a date or not. You might have to look at yeah, it. Take a look. Um, oh, well. Pleasure meeting you, Brock. Yeah. No, there's no date. There's no date when these went up or when they come down. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. All right, well, let's keep walking around and see what else is going on. You can go that way. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want to jump off the <laughs> parking garage. Parking deck. What is these people's issue? So here's here's their thing. Okay, so if you're taking video inside the window, so if I stand here right now and I'm looking at the building, am I taking video inside the windows? And even if I am, what's the difference? Yeah. Lesson there is don't sit in the glass window and do things you don't want people on the outside to see. So what do they mean? These windows? I don't know. Well, when we first started filming, these windows over here, there was a bunch of people in them. And then they all, like, left, I think. Oh, did they? Yeah. There was a bunch of people at these oh, desks over there. here. There was that lady with the blonde hair. She's still there. Uh, I guess they came back. What's around this side? Anything? I don't know. Much over here, but hey, we can check out this side of the building. Yeah, I was reading the uh, Fargo mask thing, right? And there's actually an exemption for uh, if you're doing a broadcast or uh, giving a speech or something or doing a broadcast. Oh, they have yeah. one of those, really? Yeah. Cool, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I saw, I remember somewhere else we were they had the same thing. Yeah, that's probably pretty uh, common. Right on, good to know. And did you see when I asked him if they're still doing the mask thing, he was like, uh, <laughs> he kind of like hesitated a little bit. Yeah. All right, well, nothing this way, so let's go back around the front. I like, just want to hang out for a few minutes, see what goes on. Yeah. See if we can at least get somebody going in or out. Yeah, might as well. Look, she's taking our picture. <laughs> All right, this lady in this window over here is taking our picture. Let's get a closer look. <laughs> She's got her one hand in front of her face and the other hand uh, taking video or pictures of us with her phone. She's having a fit. She just ran into the back. Have, uh, just so you guys know too, they have some very uh, sneaky little harassment and alarming laws here in North Dakota. Uh, so you got to be careful that you don't alarm somebody or uh, create a situation because uh, that is technically frowned upon here. 
Um, you just have to be careful about how you do it and what you do. Because you know they're definitely calling somebody. I'm sure. They're upset. So, just so you guys, let's put this whole thing into a uh, context here. So, this is I don't know if you guys can see that from how far away we are. Building. But, uh... A few people over there in that outside. window. They're all having a the fit in there. Taking video. Um, mine are on there. And people are getting a lot of So just think about that. Let that sink in for me. Just think about that. Just look at what we're doing. And uh, think about the fact that what we're doing right now might be alarming you. How ridiculous that is. Standing outside of a public building, which has some very interesting architecture, and art park, and... Uh, you know, that kind of photographs and things going on. So, uh, so it's like they all uh, evacuated over there. None of them are in the window anymore. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, they're closing those shades over there. Are they? Yep. Yeah, those two on the left, they just put them down. They don't want us to look in? <laughs> they act like we're like pressed up against the glass trying to film inside of it. Ridiculous. So they closed all the blinds over here. All right, guys. So uh, not much interesting going on outside. So OT is going to go uh, put his fire on the way, and then we'll go inside the building. And let me know what you guys think about that. Now that I have a minute to talk here, um, North Dakota touts itself, or people tout it as being a very uh, pro two-way state. Uh, I think they even enacted some kind of Second Amendment sanctuary, uh, so-called law. Um, but you're prohibited um, e expressly, even if you have a, c a concealed carry permit, uh, you're prohibited from entering any public building, any publicly owned or operated building with a firearm or any other dangerous weapon, which, which I don't know what their definition of that is. So, uh, I don't know, I don't think that's very, uh, very pro 2A of them, uh, for a state that claims to be a Second Amendment sanctuary. But you guys let me know what you think in the uh, comments. I meant to bring up that last time we were here, uh, around that time when we were doing videos, I don't think we were really hanging around outside places much. I think we were just, for the most part, going straight in. And I think that's what happened on that video. I don't remember. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, notice that, you know, now we take a little video outside. And even uh, on the outside of public buildings, on public property, you got people uh, freaking out over a camera. Because we're taking videos of the outside of a public building. Hello. What's going on? See how they're doing? All right. They locked it down. Yeah. Could be. Thank you, sir. Yeah. City auditor. Well, they have uh, their social medias here, like a live counter. What, how many people came in? No, it's got like their Instagram and their Facebook, like live. Oh, really? Yeah, taking off how many people uh, follow. Just quiet in here as it was last time. Yeah. Yeah, a year later and Fargo's pretty much got the exact same thing going on. Except it's open. Yeah. yeah. You wanna yeah. go upstairs? Sure. Because yeah. there's nothing going on down there. Yeah. Elevator or stairs? Elevator? Either way. What do you want to do? Stairs makes a more interesting video. Let's see what's <laughs> going on. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's got this nice staircase. Yeah. yeah. Up up. Yeah, last time didn't they have like a like a security guy in between the doors, like letting people in and out? Yeah, they did. <laughs> as a matter of fact. It's a cool building. Yeah. Right Hi. What's up here? All right, we're going all the way up and work our way down. Third sure. Floor. Oh yeah, I remember this is real small up here. Oh no. Oh yeah, you could see Minnesota from here, I think. Oh yeah. So that across the river, U.S. Bank and the white square building, that's Minnesota. And then this is North Dakota, divided by the river. Finance. Oh, finance. Oh, finance. Those people don't usually like cameras. See yeah, all that private information they have laying out on the desk. Well, I think these are the reservation uh, yeah, flags uh, here. snacks, and drinks. Where we were outside speaking with Brock, who had a sudden need to check the orange cone <laughs> while we were here. But they have everybody like. Hi. Probably locked. Oh yeah. So finance is on lockdown. Yeah, finance is shut down. Dude, somebody just came out of here and looked at us and went back in. Somebody just came out of there and looked at us and went back in. Really? Oh, at the same God. time? I saw that yeah, guy. I didn't see. Same time. Information Overhead. services. Information yeah. services oh. locked too. Hey fellas. Hi, how are you? What's going on? Don't tell me you ran here. What's that? Don't tell me you ran here. No, do you have a can you just lift up? Do you have a Absolutely. fire? Absolutely. Nope. Okay. Alright, you guys aren't armed with anything? Nope. Not okay. even a pocket knife. Alright, what's going on? We I was when I was walking around outside. Okay. Alright. But I left it in my truck before I came in. I know what the law is. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. What are you guys up to? Just checking out your city hall. Checking out City Hall? Yeah. Okay. You guys from here? Beautiful building, no. No, where are no. you guys from? Well, that's a, 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 that's a, I choose to answer some questions, some questions I may not, but I'll have the conversation with you. Okay, all right. Is there anything wrong with taking video here? I don't have a fire on So, so okay. um, no, yeah, we You're good, I, have no, I don't even have a pocket knife on me. So, we're, yeah. very, we're very well versed in the law and we- Okay, not I was like, paper. front yeah. door says no yeah. firearms allowed. Um, yeah, no, we know that. So we spoke with- Can I just get name and badge number so I know who I'm speaking to? Officer Cordy. Right. And badge number? 612. 612, and you sir? Yeah. Officer Marveg, it's 530. Thank you very much, I appreciate yep. that. Um, so we, I'm sorry. So we spoke with uh, Mr. Lindbergh, okay? I don't know who that is. He's in, yep, so he's in charge of security and stuff here. Okay. okay? And he said that um, based on your guys' kind of just behavior, walking around the holster and stuff like that, is they would like you guys trespass from the building, okay? And remove from the grounds, okay? You're not facing like charges, nothing like that. They would like us trespass, did I, did I violate a law? Um, so because they're, he's in charge of their security here, okay? They have the right to refuse service, okay? All right. In a public building? Even though if you guys are, if they're, if they're threat, or if they're, if your guys' behavior is deemed threatening, then they, all I'm doing is walking around with a camera. You saw what I was doing when you walked up the stairs. I'm not acting threatening. Yep. I'm and being I'm very like, cordial. I actually, a guy named Brock Morrison came outside. Mm -hmm. I had a very cordial conversation with him. Okay. All right. And like nobody said, asked us to leave. Okay. Nobody told us we couldn't. And, be and, here. Yep. and so then we're we're just kind of speaking on their behalf that they would like you guys. Well, I have an issue with that because if I'm just here lawfully mm -hmm. not create i'm not i haven't even spoken to anybody other than brock morrison outside who approached us at her two and five we'll take a zebra unit up on the third floor haven't uh was that supervisor what's that is that yes, supervisor sir. okay good because we haven't uh by you can tell i know the law we did our homework i don't want to violate the law we're not going to any restricted areas 
yep. or just in publicly accessible areas checking out your building. Absolutely. So to be it's trespassed absolutely. out of the building for that is going to be an issue. Yeah, you know, and I and I and I understand your concerns with that. And like I said, is I I. Uh, you can bring that up with the with the city or write to the city oh, commissioners. Oh, you speak to you can write to the you can write to the city commissioners. Okay. okay, all right, as well, and voice your frustration. Well, I'm not going to spend my life on it. I just came to. We're, yep. I'm traveling. This is my son. Mm -hmm. We're traveling. Okay. So we just came to check out your city yep. hall. And like I said, it's one of those things where we. Uh, they, the security guy, he asked us to have you guys removed from the building due to, due well, can we speak with to him? threatening behavior. I don't think he doesn't sound like he wants to talk to you guys well, right now. Well, with you guys okay. here, he might. All right. So we are, we are on their behalf asking you guys to please exit the building. Okay. Like I said, there's no charges being pressed. Right, can I just like continue that. the conversation for a second with the sergeant here? You might want to get more information. Either just, from a, just, from sorry, I just want to tell you what I'm doing. I'm traveling with my son. Okay. Right? We, Welcome to the park. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Well, some welcome. I'm getting trespassed out of City Hall for just doing nothing wrong. Okay. Well, um, I know the laws. I left my friend here in the thank you. vehicle. I'm not looking to violate any laws. Okay. We're not uh, harassing anybody. I haven't even spoken to anybody except for Brock Morrison, who approached us outside. We had a very cordial conversation with him. Okay. There's been no issues. Okay. And we haven't harassed anybody, alarmed anybody, spoken to anybody. We're just in the public areas of the building, taking video of publicly visible things. I'm not looking to go in any restricted areas. Can I ask how you got in the building? Because right through the front the, door. The doors are usually locked. There's, a, there's an open one. I got there. I walked right through there. Okay, the that's the reason I'm saying is the doors are usually locked. So that's why I was. Well, but the building is open to the public uh, at this point, right? I think you have to make appointments. Yeah, to see people and stuff like that right now. Well, I'm not looking to see anybody. And I read your sign. I'm, I can tell you that we did very, very, very uh, in-depth homework on rules, regulations, laws, statutes, codes, everything in your city before we came here to take video. Okay, and, and that's fine. What I'm saying is that normally the building is locked, and I don't know if they just forgot to lock a door. Well, I don't think so. You've lowered down to a level green. So it's generally that they have to buzz in or talk with somebody as you at the front well, door. Well, I'm, not, I'm so. not looking to talk to anybody. I'm not looking and, to and that's fine. I'm just telling you about explain why back, we're kind of asking how you got in. Right, right. No, no, no I get that. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. wrong. But I mean, I don't want to be thrown out of a public building for doing nothing wrong. I'm traveling with my son. That's really, you welcomed me to Fargo. That's really not a nice welcome to Fargo. Well, the thing is, is and again. And, 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 and let me it, just, just to finish that statement. Okay, go ahead, sir. The, whoever's in charge of security here, the mayor, the governor, nobody can ask me to leave or order me to leave private, uh, public property unless I've committed a crime or unless I'm disturbing somebody and creating a problem or, or creating an issue. Or if it's not supposed to be open, then they can also... No, well, the building is open, I checked. It. The building's open to the public. It was not open 10 months ago last time we were here, and that's why we came back. I drove all the way back here. By being open to the public, it may have meant that you buzz in or talk to say who you're talking to. Well, See, there's the a different... The no, door is open, but I don't know if it's supposed to be. It is supposed to be. I did my homework. I can promise you it is. Okay, all right. And that's why even, ex I'll tell you why I'm not wearing a face mask. I'm not wearing a face mask because yeah. your mayor, Mahoney, signed an executive order in October of last year okay. saying a paragraph I of that executive order in the exemption says that if you're broadcasting or doing that kind of a thing, you don't have to have a mask on. So that's why I don't have a mask on. So, and, and, so we're really trying to follow your rules and regulations. And, and that's why I said there's nothing. Um, so how are we going to resolve it? What would you like to do? I just want to walk around the rest of the building and then I'm going to leave and get out of your hair and you'll probably never see me again. Mind if we just, I have one of my officers walk with you and that's it, not the half of your... That's up to you. You can have all your officers you cool walk with I know you said it. Are you cool with that? I have right. absolutely no issue. Anybody else can do whatever they want to do. I have no issue with that. All right. Sure. All right. We have no nefarious intent, no ill will. We're not looking to bother anybody. Yeah. We're not, you know, I'm just yeah. here to take a video. So, and you are right. I mean, in the public sector, that you have the right to be able to video and stuff like that, okay. and, and and that's fine. Yeah. My oh, concern, yeah, again, I don't. I heard what you said, but I haven't been able to talk with anybody or find out. Exactly right. No, I appreciate. It's supposed it. to be locked because if it was, because that's why they have that system out there where it's got a camera so you'd be able to buzz and be able to talk yeah i know and, and when they were going through the whole covid protocol thing it was like that we were here 10 months ago and they actually were nice enough to let us in even at that time and let us do a little quick tour of the building but there was nobody here there was nothing going on it was a very boring video so we came back and just checked See, it out. a little more excitement this time no, a little bit yeah, yeah no but you're being very cordial and professional i appreciate that well you haven't done anything wrong and there's no reason to be anything other than that right i appreciate that and i just you know I, it's it's very and I'm going to tell you what we're doing here since you're being that way. Part of what we're Thank doing you. is, okay, what we do is, again, this is my son. I don't know if you heard me say that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what we do is we travel the country. We've been doing this for almost two years, okay? And what okay. we do is we defend our Constitution. 
Okay. Okay. So what this is is a First Amendment audit. Okay. You're probably aware of that. Yeah. Right. So what we do is now there's a lot of First Amendment auditors out there who go out and try to rile people up and instigate and drive people nuts and get into situations and yes, file right. lawsuits and do that kind of thing. That's not us. We're a whole different okay. ball of wax. I'm trying to have these conversations with law enforcement, yep. with security people, with the people that work at right. city halls and you yep. know, make the wheels turn, the people that have the feet on the ground here. Yep. And that's what we try to do. We try to be productive. We try to educate ourselves, educate the people that we speak to. We have a couple of people that watch our videos uh, that really appreciate what we do and support what we do. And, uh, you know, again, there's, there's very good police officers out there. We support you guys and we support the very good police Thank officers you. in this country. Uh, but just like there's bad video guys, there's bad cops too. So yep. you never know yep. who you're going to run into. Yep. I don't know who I'm going to run into just like you don't. Right. right. But I think we've kind of figured out that we're both on the right side of the thing here. So, and, and I thank you for that because you're absolutely correct and I very much appreciate the conversation that we're having. Absolutely, that's, the way that's it what be. it's all about for us. And so, with our deal, and as we talked, clearly, it is a public building. Right. You have the right to be in the public area and right. stuff like that to be able to do that. Right. The reason that some of us have our deal is basically we are still... Uh, well, you're a city employee. With that, we're supposed to be still wearing our, our face masks. I got it, sure, absolutely. Forth. So that's the only reason I'm not trying to hide my... No, not at all. You know what? I'm the kind of guy, as long as you're not creating a victim out of anybody, I'm not really interested in what you're doing. Well, I appreciate that. You know, like I don't I really said, worry about what people but are like doing. Like I said, I want you to explain that it's not a deal of, oh, you've got a camera, I want to hide my, my face. Oh, no, I don't like think that, that at all. No, no, no. So, all right. No, not at all. And we are aware that even though we are exempt from wearing the mask, we do need to social distance. So we're training, we're not getting near right. anybody. We're not, we're really trying to follow the rules and just So maybe I ask, anyway. it, and again, you don't have to answer this, but what part of the country are you guys from? Colorado. Okay. All right. Yeah. And I generally don't answer those types of questions, but you've earned it. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, and you know, you guys, you guys are just trying to do your jobs. And you know, a lot of times a sergeant will show up or a higher up or a lieutenant or somebody show up and that kind of like fixes everything. You know what I mean? Just because you have the experience. So as far as the education aspect of this goes, you guys are young. And hopefully this is a learning experience for these two guys. Um, I know I'm learning something out here every day. The older I get, the more I realize I don't know a damn thing. Okay. You know, <laughs> so it's all about learning. And I always like to say that I don't have to understand and appreciate everything that you do, and you don't have to understand and appreciate everything that I do, but as men, we can find that middle ground, we can have the conversation, we can shake hands and walk away better people at the end the of the day. The thing is, we show, we've shown each other respect. And that's, that's exactly that's what it is, so. and respect gets respect, always in my yeah. book, yeah, for so. sure. And, are you, and these officers have been very cordial. So, yeah, thank and, you, uh, I, I won't shake your hand, but how about a fist bump? You can shake my hand, <laughs> fist bump, whatever. Welcome, welcome to Fargo. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And so, again, you. if I could just have just, just block, like you said, they have If you feel right. like I need a babysitter, I'm more than welcome to have a babysitter. They have every right to be able to do that and stuff like that, but like you said, just the only reason I'm doing it is it'll appease a number of people that are... See, and he's a smart guy because like I said, I'm not there. I've only sued one person in my entire life. I'm 51 years old. But there are guys out there that go out and do these kind of things looking yeah. to sue people, right? So if you guys had thrown us out of the building without re lawful reason, one of those guys might file a lawsuit against the city of Fargo and then you're going to be in a mess. That I'm not going to do that, no. and you're not going to throw me out either. No, so, no. but you know, this is so. Hopefully, the, and I really want you guys to understand. I'm not trying to come across like I know any better than you do. You know a lot of things better than I do, right? So we all know we all know what we know. So, but if we have conversations, then we can share that knowledge. We can all understand what's going on, and we can all be on the same page. And there's you no know, no harm, no foul. So, well, right? sounds good. Well, well, I do mean welcome to Fargo. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It was Sergeant Kevin Volrath. Volrath. Yep. Thank you, sir. I appreciate so, that. And I hope you do enjoy it. And my name's Jason. Okay. Nice, nice to meet you, Jason. Ben. Ben? Okay. Nice and again, you. I do mean Welcome to Fargo. And Thank I appreciate you. you know what? And it just as a father and son, apart from the whole First Amendment order, anything, I appreciate it going this way because we're also making memories and just enjoying our lives together. Yeah. And that's, you know, part of what we do. Well, and, and like I said, we, we've got a great city here and there's a lot of amenities that are out there and hopefully you have an opportunity to enjoy some. Yeah, we just got here yesterday, so we're going to definitely check it out. So, so we, you might run into us again. Yeah, Plus, say, Jason, Jason <laughs> you know, like you said, that we might run into you guys again. Do you care if we just get your last name? Just say that we spoke with you guys, we talked to you. You know what? I have absolutely no issue giving you all my information but I'm not going to only because what I'm doing is a First Amendment audit and that's a, that's my Fourth Amendment right to be secure my my information you know so not, I, I don't want I would and I appreciate the, Jason and Ben the I person inside that. of me would love to just give you my name and everything but because I'm doing this it kind of I hope you understand so but you'll you'll find you do this wait a day or two just go on YouTube right and just type in Fargo City Hall and you'll see the video Okay. And, and then you'll know exactly who I am.
They're gonna walk. They want to walk around a little bit. They can. They have every. Do you guys? Do you guys? Do you guys mind just holding up one second real quick while I talk to my sergeant quick? Real quick. Here. You're gonna try to talk him out of being a nice guy. <laughs> well. Huh? Are you? Are you the yeah. babysitter? You want to? Well, yeah. Well, I don't know. It's like. So I just spent two and a half years as a park officer. The park district here has a specific ordinance about trespassing. Okay. And so they have it all laid out in ordinance, exactly how you can get trespassed and all those things. And it doesn't, their ordinance doesn't say it has to be a law violation to get trespassed from park. It can even be their rules. That's a different situation. Yeah, different, but yeah. And so in this, and in this say, situation, say, I would have to violate the law for you to trespass. Yeah, and there's different right, protections, Whether it's right? loitering, or yeah. causing yeah, a disturbance, whatever, harassment, yeah. whatever it is, anything yeah. that violates the law, that would give you the right to have me. Yeah, they all sorts of. of barring any unlawful activity, there yeah, really no, is we, I appreciate it, so yeah. like I said, we would pass something along from him or whatever, so. Okay, we appreciate no, and I appreciate you, man. Yeah. We're, really part of, we're part of Colorado, And I, I just want to say, just before I answer that question, I just want you guys to know, I really hope you understand, I don't know if you guys were in the military or not, but I want you to understand that what we're doing is we're out here protecting our rights, your rights, and everybody else's rights, because in my humble opinion, our Constitution is taking a proverbial ass kicking these days, and I'm not very happy about it. So, I have a long history in video as a career, so that's why we chose this as our way to exercise our rights. It's an exercise of rights, that's all it is. Do you mind me asking, do you plan on being out in parks and stuff all open carrying, down Broadway and stuff? Places I do not you... plan to be in parks open carrying because it's illegal. Not North Dakota. It's not? No? Not to my knowledge. You're allowed to open carry in a park. I can tell you right so now. Government, I can give you, I can give you a government. I could be wrong, see, and I'll learn something. I was going to say, I think you can you open carry other than being in government buildings. Okay. So like the, there's a debate, so like a structure, like Island Park has a gazebo, like an open wall. So, so you're not, oh, I'm sorry, to cut in. So you're, you guys don't have North Dakota driver's license, I'm assuming, right? You're no, not valid North Dakota. I do not have a North okay, Dakota so, driver's license. So obviously North Dakota is a constitutional carry state. Only for residents. Okay, so yeah, if, the, if you don't, do you guys have CWLs? Well, I do, yes. You have a concealed weapons license? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I don't know. Do we have risk? Do you have risk price in North Dakota? I'd have to look. Yes, we're, Colorado does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you're a concealed weapons holder, okay, um, and it's valid, you're just still valid. Yes, it is. Okay. So you're allowed to carry public streets, public sidewalks, public boulevards, private businesses that if they allow you to uh, in your vehicle can be loaded in a church with permission. You're not allowed to carry at athletic sporting events, schools, churches without permission, publicly owned slash operated buildings liquor establishments and gaming sites. So the public parks thing. And bars, I believe, right? Well, what is it? Yep. Isn't yep. our open carry Liquor establishments, that's, liquor that's, that's we consider those uh, gotcha. a bar okay. kind of thing. Yep, exactly. So then if you if you don't have a constitutional carry or your thing, you have to have a valid North Dakota. And the you way I understand it is the only way you can constitutional carry is if you're a resident, you've lived here for yeah. a year. Correct, yep, you have right. to have a valid. Which yep. is gonna change on August 21st, it's gonna go to 30 days. Yep, so that oh, stuff's right. in the legislature yeah. and everything like yeah. that. And so like I said, our laws change or whatever and stuff like that. So that's just it is. You know what? You guys, we travel around the country. We've been in 32 states, I believe. And it is the, the, the laws here are a little. Yes. Well, and when they added the constitutional carry stuff, it got all everything got convoluted. Right. I'm sure. Yeah. Different. But yeah. so that was all concealed carry stuff, because there's also an open carry law in North Dakota. That's, right. that's your constitutional carry is your open carry laws or whatever. So oh. you can is if you're a valid North Dakota resident. Right. And you have a you don't have a concealed weapons license or whatever. Right. You can have a handgun attached to your hip and walk down the street. Yes. If you have a valid North And my understanding of that is through parks as well. Yep. Just and not into a park building, because it's a government building. And what's the other thing? Like if you don't have the license, then it's like unloaded an hour yeah, before sunrise. Yeah, it's a weird thing. There's yeah, like that's sunrise, sunset. Yeah, those yeah, get, yeah, exactly. Because like last like, summer, park. when I was in parks, we ended up with like this guy who was just, that's what he does, he open carries. And he wasn't doing it as like a statement, he just does it. Okay. Um, but guess what? Then you get called on him like three times, right? right? Because other people in the park that makes them feel uncomfortable, even if it's not illegal, doesn't stop them. And then you could get into alarming people and all yeah, kinds yeah, of yeah. other things. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what? so that was my point. Was like at that point, when I rolled up on him the second time, I'm like, like, oh hey, and then I went on with my day, right? Because I know that he is legit. I know that he is. I know that he's not out. He's just out enjoying a day in a park. Right. Well, I have. If I, if we knew you were going to be on Broadway all of today and tomorrow, and you're going to be at the parks and stuff, like, then we could. Maybe. Already sent something out being like, hey, just you know, these guys are, are around, they're doing their thing. John, Ben, are you guys planning on staying in Fargo tonight and going to the the meeting? What meeting? I'm wondering if any like meetings in town or anything like that. We're just wondering if you guys are planning, just so we can give them ads up or whatever, if you guys are there. So if you are. I don't even know of any meetings. Okay, mm. that's what we Why, is there a meeting I should know about? 
You no, said, I'm, you said, I'm wondering. You said like, don't eat it. You said don't yeah. eat it. Yeah. No, like so you got to be careful, Detective right? John. I'm wondering if like you guys are going to any meetings or anything like that. Like if you no, but I'm gonna find out where there is one yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I no, I'm not gonna. I'm not. No. Fair enough. I'm just poking yeah, you a little bit. No worries. But uh, yeah, no, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. And just did you let them know that? Yeah, it, it, we're fine with the mayor and stuff like that. There's the concern. That's why I went and just spoke and, and stuff like that. And oh, the mayor's here? Yep. Oh, well, maybe we can say hello to the mayor. I'm uh, just wondering uh, what was going on and stuff. What? No, he's in a meeting. That's why he just stuck oh, his head it? out. Well, back. that's the meeting I want to go to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, I knew he had a meeting. Yeah. And so, but one of the things, and again, and, and you've been doing this for a while, I'm assuming, and stuff like that. that yes, sir. We, we get the calls right away because it's, People see cameras and they're like, oh, oh, what's going on and stuff like that. And you know what? That's very location specific mm -hmm. because in some states and in some cities and some places, you, nobody you can be open carrying with cameras and a pink tutu on and ride a really? purple bicycle and nobody cares what you're doing. We're a little conservative here yeah. in Fargo. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, and you're very close to Minnesota. Yeah, yes, yes. Enough said on that. <laughs> All right. Thank All right, you. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much. We, we, we won't hold your, uh, your folks up here too long. We're just going to... we. Did the third floor, we'll go down the second floor, look around. All right. And we'll be out of there here. So. Thanks again, guys. You bet. Take care. And Thank safe you. travels back to Colorado. Thanks. Thank you very much. Oh, we got more guys down here. That we crossed paths? Well, depending on where you got that sweatshirt, I'm guessing we crossed paths before. Oh, Sturgis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we actually got it in Sturgis. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Lock? Probably. Yep. I think they did lock the building down, guys, but uh, as you can see, no babies here. And uh, no thrown out of the building. Stand up for your rights and take your crap. And the whole key is to be cordial, respectful, and have the information readily available to yourself. No, nope, that's locked nope. too. So they've locked down everything. Um, which is unfortunate because then we're not gonna get to show you some of these offices here. Um, that's right, I think point proven here today. We're just doing a little tour of the building. Yeah, I don't know. We, are we able to come in and just take a look at your office real quick and then sure. leave? Great, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Jason. Okay. And can I ask your first name? Jen. Jen, nice to meet you, Jen. So this is the engineering office. Do you guys, is this like permitting or what? what is engineering exactly do? Working on the streets. Well, oh, okay, I got so kind of like public works. The projects um, that we bid out. Gotcha, okay. okay. For street lights, water main projects. Okay, very cool. Very cool, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for letting us in and answering the question for us. Thank you. Have a great day, Jen. You too. We appreciate you. Well, see, that's a normal person. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all that is. That's how that should go. I mean, we should be able to walk into an office, ask a question, and leave. See if the assessors is open. Nope. Yeah. They are closed. Hello. Oh, she's actually coming around to the door. Uh -huh. Huh? And maybe they sent out the uh, memo already. They probably did. They probably just sent out a memo saying, we're going to get sued, guys. <laughs> Let them in. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you doing? Good. Is it okay if we just take a look at your office real quick? Absolutely. Thank you Thank so you. much. My name's Jason, by the way. 
I'm Maddie. Maddie, nice to meet you. Do you guys need to come through here as well? No, no, we don't want to go in any oh, restricted okay. areas. We're just looking at it. Okay. Publicly accessible stuff, thank you. Yep. It's a beautiful building to work in. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's been nice, that's for sure. Have you been here for a while? Uh, two years. Two years, very cool. Yeah. yeah. We were here 10 months ago and the whole place was locked down and yeah, not, it's, not, not, we're not much slowly going on. opening back up, so it's nice. Well, good. I hope the smiles are slowly coming back, exactly too. Exactly right. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Have a good, Have a good day. Sorry. Yeah, they definitely just broadcast a call out. <laughs> <laughs> she was going to invite us back into the restaurant. Uh, yeah, yeah. We went, we went from you're getting thrown out to inviting us into the restricted area. And in like on an invitation, five you minutes. could have gone in, but I am not even interested. Yeah. <laughs> Human resources is locked. Playing development is locked. Still having a meeting down there. We'll just take it there. We should, uh, we should check out the mayor's office. Yeah? You want to do that? Might as well. Sure, paint over them and then start from scratch. Like there's yeah. a fairly large one. Kind of, I have friends who say there's But, uh, <coughs> yeah. This gentleman's family. You know, Jerry, when you work with this. Information yeah. services. What do you do here? Uh, I don't want to go that Locked. Uh, All right, well, there's not even like a thing to ring. Yeah, very odd. Uh, yeah, yeah. I need some paperwork off that wall. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? I need to get some forms. I need to get a form. She just went in the back. Yeah, she's going to go ask her boss if it's okay to let us in. <laughs> the silliness that goes on, it's really silly. It really, really is. I mean, you had the... Uh, you had six, seven police officers here. And they're still concerned. So people just want to be concerned. People just want to be upset and want to be concerned about something. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah. Hey, no. Good. How are you? I need to grab a form. These people for real? Sketchy place you got going on here. You can just walk right in this door. The door's locked. Unless you're just open. The door's locked. I just want to see what- That's, that's what, because sketchy people are wandering around here with- Do I look sketchy? Camera. No, the cameras. Oh. The camera looks- Administration good? locked the door. Well, the mayor's already given us permission to be here doing what we're doing. No, you. I'm not saying you can't. I'm oh, okay. saying that why it's why it's locked. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yep. What, oh, so they went to like some kind of red alert status? Yeah. Over two guys with cameras? Isn't that silly? No. You don't think that's silly? No, we've had this happen before, and they do I've... it. They do it automatically. It doesn't. There's no questions asked. What do you mean? If anybody shows up with a camera? 
they locked the place down? Do they know it's a camera? Come on. You just told me that they were nervous because two guys are walking around with cameras. You want to talk to them? What else would you, you think that, that is? What do you mean? What else could that possibly be? I'm not trying to secret myself. I'm not going to get into an argument with you. All right, so I'm just going to look at your forms here. That, that might not be the only thing you have, you know? Come on. Might not be the only thing you have. I can tell you a very interesting like story. Like I said, I don't want to get into an argument. No, no, I'm not looking to argue with you. I'm just having no, a board you are. You are. No, not at all. There was actually a gentleman that worked at a bank for 43 years, and on his last day, he used to go put his briefcase in the vault every day when he got to work. His last day of work, he was 79 years old. Walked into the vault, picked up his briefcase, left. Nobody ever saw him again. He put $4 million in his briefcase. After 43 years of working at the bank. So you never know who's who. But I think the guy you got to worry about is probably not going to be as obvious as I am. I'm trying to be very obvious and not secret myself and just check out your city hall. That's all. But if that's concerning, I get it. That's We're worried about city hall, not the banks. Gotcha. That's what I was looking for right there. And, uh, All right, cool. Well, I'm sorry we alarmed you. We did. Not, not my intention. These days, everybody's walking around with a camera. Everywhere Nobody you... walks around with a camera like you guys. Nobody well, does. But, uh, what I'm saying there's, is... There's many people in our office every day. Nobody does that. Everybody has cameras. Every, you're on camera when you go to the gas station, when you go to Walmart, when you go to the supermarket. I'm not going to argue with you about that. We're on camera here. I don't know how many cameras we're on. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, you know, just is what it is. That's the day and age we live in. Nobody does that. When you and I were younger and people used to do this, people would jump in front of the camera and say, Hi, Mom. Now everybody gets scared Hi, instead. I like the, yeah, there you go. I like that much better. Yeah, nobody does what you're doing. I'm telling you right now. Oh, plenty of people do what I'm doing. None. They do. No. Sure, they do. We get many people in every day. None have done that. Well, maybe that you've never seen. There have been people here before. I could ask anybody in our office. None have done it. Well, I was just speaking to administration and the police here, and they told me that there were have people have been here taking video before. Well, I'm talking about our office. Well, hopefully, maybe because we were here, maybe next time you'll give the next guys a shot and you won't get nervous right away because somebody has a camera. It wasn't me that got nervous. Okay. Or whoever got nervous. I don't want to see anybody get nervous. There's no reason to be nervous. Some guys are no, just walking. No, you, you did it on purpose. You no, made everybody no. nervous on purpose. No, not at all. But by taking video? Not at all, sir. I have to disagree with you. I'm not trying to make anybody nervous at all. Yeah, you are. If I was trying to make you nervous, I would have been very avoiding Guess your what? questions. I, I am nervous now. You are? Yes. Well, I'm going to leave so you don't have to be nervous and you can get back to work and feel more secure and better about yourself. I don't want to make you nervous. Thank you. You have a good day. Living in fear is a terrible thing, just a suggestion. I would take that personally if I were you. You would take it personally? Yeah, because I wouldn't want to make people feel in fear. I'm not trying to make anybody feel in fear. That's why I'm having a cordial conversation. If I want to make you in fear, I can, I can do things yeah, to make you afraid. You're, you're cordial. Yeah, I am. Come on, right. Bill. Well, you have a good day. Enjoy <laughs> that fear. <laughs> got some paperwork? You guys okay? Oh, yeah, I got it. Just lost my battery here. Oh. Yeah, everything's fine. You know, you still got some people a little sketched out. Okay. I don't know what the story is with that. I don't like to live in fear, you know? So, I'll go chat with them. So. Yeah, I, uh, I hope that uh, us being here today maybe gave people a reason to think a little bit. Well, it, it's different, like I said, and even when I was talking with them, it was, um, so your camera's not, but he's still got it, was that they're, they're not used to it and, and stuff like that. Not that they have to be, but. Uh, well, but the thing you gotta realize is too, what I always like to say is somebody, somebody riding a purple bicycle with a pink tutu on down the sidewalk is unusual. Yeah. But is it illegal? Is there anything wrong no, with it? No, and I want to be very clear. I, just yeah, right. by, no, not that's unusual. unusual. It's not illegal. Right. That's why I keep... And then what I would do is, like, you know, if somebody is nervous and I start a conversation with them, you see how I am and how I conduct myself, right? So we started having a conversation. And you right away started feeling better about the situation. Right. realized what was going on. I was very forthright with you. Yep. And yep. that quelled the situation. Why that doesn't work for everybody, I'll never understand. Some pe I think some people just want to be in fear yeah, and be upset. But, but one of the things is, is that I think that... And you're right, I've been doing education because it was like, well, can they come out of the hallway? And I was like, 
if a normal Joe Blow citizen can walk into that area, you have every right to be able to walk in that area. Yes, sir. If so, if if you like, for example, you come behind a desk, that area is secure. You have no right or access unless I was invited. Right, back right, there. right. To right. be able to go back there. Exactly. But if you jump the jump the counter or something like that, there's a problem. Yeah, that might upset not, you too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so with that, and so shutting off again. So that's where just educating and talking with them about you know, as long as you're in the public area where anybody else can be, you're golden. Right. Yeah, so, that's my understanding. Yeah. yeah. No, and I appreciate you for saying right. that. I appreciate so. you for knowing that. And the most important thing, really, and I'm not just trying to, I'm going to leave, so I'm not looking for you to rub, it, rub anybody's nose in it, but it's very important for you to make them understand that. Right. And I, because and, for their own self, too, why would anybody want to live in fear? You know, you, you, you see something, you analyze it, you threat assess, right. you figure out what's going on, and you proceed from there. You don't just go into panic mode and but the other part, But the other part, and you've mentioned a few times, is that one of the things that you're doing, at least that's what you've said you're doing, is to educate. Yes, and so, that's the main goal. And so you also have to look at, not everybody is at that level of going, they understand everything. That's what you're finding. That's where now, as I'm coming back to go, like what you just said, right. to do that education piece to go, you know what, here's the situation and why. Well, I can't tell you how many visits to municipalities that we've done that have inspired meetings and protocol mm -hmm. you know what i mean so yeah. it is an education because yes. then now this is this is something that occurred so now it will be addressed the mayor you, will address oh, it you are right the, it, the, it'll trickle down to the employees and then maybe three months from now when somebody else comes in with a camera nobody will pay any attention to him he'll be yeah. here for 10 15 minutes leave and there'll be no and any other thing is and, and for them was the concern with the they they see the holster right and, and stuff like that and all the building is not supposed to have weapons inside that with that unless law enforcement or something. That, right, exactly. So that's where, and again, and we're like, we've already talked with them, that has been addressed, there's no weapon yep. there. So we're No, going, and I understand so. that. I just think some people are a little more, what's the word I'm looking for? Some people are a little more preloaded or predispositioned to, to panic than others are. So, well, the, un, the unknown is scary <laughs> for some. The but unknown could that. also be very exciting. Got that it all depends on how you look at it. Perceptions of yeah, yeah so. perceptions a very big thing, right? Yeah. So. yeah. All right. Yeah. But well, we appreciate you again, sir. Right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. You have a good day. Thank you. Does that look one of those looks that uh, I was giving you? Yeah, same as your look. Yeah. Okay, is that it? Well, I hope you're not too high up in a position here because you're probably not a leader. But that's okay. We need followers. Keep up the good work. You're not gonna get me with that. I'm not trying to get you. Life's already got you, my friend. My battery's done. All right, guys. Uh, you saw how that went here in Fargo, North Dakota, at the city hall. Um, I mean, word of the day here is inconsistency. I would say. Um, I mean, from one office to the next, you have uh, somebody freaking out, and then the other uh, nice uh, girl behind the counter in uh, one of those offices. I think she said her name was Maddie, uh, who invited us into the back restricted area. So. Uh, very inconsistent here, um, you know, from office to office, and also uh, how quickly they changed their minds when they realized uh, what was going on and they had to have it explained to them by police officers. Um, you know, so it went from we we're going to get thrown out to uh, we're fine to be doing what we're doing. Um, so, you know, hopefully these people learn something today, uh, police, uh, the employees here, and everybody else and hopefully they uh, got educated and won't be uh, freaking out like that over a camera next time. So I took two visits on this one to uh, get some education across here. Uh, but uh, you saw how that went. So uh, if you have any feedback for anybody in this video, I'll put contact info for as many departments in City Hall as I can. and. Uh, public employees if I got their name and uh, the police department 
I'll put contact info for all that as usual, and you can feel free to contact them and let them know what you think of uh, their behavior here today. And uh, if any of you guys live in the area, feel free to come do a follow-up and uh, see if you get treated any better than we did. And uh, see if they learned their lesson about the Constitution. So, if you like this video, you appreciate what we do, you want to support the channel, uh, the best way to do that is to like, comment, uh, subscribe, uh, share this video with your friends, and uh, turn on notifications and check out my other social medias. So, watching The Watchman, out with him against the press, here in uh, Fargo, North Dakota. See you on the next one, guys. Uh,